want to know how to get this giant blade in Minecraft. Well, don't you worry, because today I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that. So guys, anyway, welcome back to a brand new Minecraft video. Today I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can get some of like the craziest and biggest Minecraft swords I have ever seen. And it's actually a part of like a huge Minecraft mod that some of you guys might know of. It's called Advent of Ascension. So there's a ton of different things in this mod. If you just look, we have bows, we have cannons, we have snipers, we have so many different bosses. There's like, I think 20 plus new dimensions. So if you guys want to see like a part two, a part three, and like a part over 9,000, make sure to go pound that guy the like button. Let's aim for 2,000. 222 likes guys if we can hit that i will show you guys some of the other awesome things that are in this minecraft mod but guys for just today what we're going to be doing is focusing on the swords now there's two separate kind of swords if you look in this chest right here we have the regular kind of broad swords these things are flipping crazy you can craft some of them there's also bosses that you need to fight in order to get some of the items and sometimes you just actually need to go to different dimensions to get these actual just crazy swords so guys anyway if you're excited for the video pound that guy that like button and also be sure to subscribe to the channel so when i make some more videos on this amazing minecraft mod you will not miss it now today guys we're gonna be fighting some of the mobs from this mod as well i'm gonna be fighting them apparently they spawn like crazy throughout your minecraft world so i shouldn't have an issue finding mobs sometimes like i normally do but we will indeed need the entire wolf pack today some of the bosses are absolutely insane i'm only gonna be fighting three but i'm thinking about possibly making an entire video of just fighting some of the bosses because i think there's like 20 to 30 bosses in this that all have their own special sound effects like this is definitely a a crazy minecraft mod i don't really know why i haven't checked it out before hey guys we're gonna hop into game mode zero and i actually have it in peaceful right now as you can see there's literally nothing spawning in other than that stupid little sheep over there and we also have bessie over here but yeah none of the mobs are gonna spawn in because i had it on regular mode earlier and there were so many mobs spawning in but yeah also guys the second category of swords in this are great blades now there's a lot more great blades in this i'm thinking possibly of adding in more in the second review that i do but yeah these are pretty much just like upgraded versions of the broad swords in here these things do a lot but uh, these great blades, are the, they're literally considered ranged weapons because of how big they are. So yeah, guys, I'm going to try and test out as many of these as I possibly can. Uh, let's go through. Yeah, some of them do have craft recipes. Other ones, like this troll basher axe, does not have a craft recipe. So we're not going to be able to actually view how to get all of them. Uh, there is an entire wiki, by the way, dedicated to this. But yeah, we also have three bosses that we're going to be spawning in using their shrines. But I think for right now, what we need to do is just start grabbing some swords. So I have a few in here. Let's just grab all of these. Let's grab as many as we can. And I also have some armor. Now, this mod adds in a bunch of armor i thought i would just kind of keep it vanilla and just have my nice diamond armor here also guys we're probably gonna need a, a lot of golden apples and a lot of regular apples too so there we go you guys yelled at me for eating steak in front of bessie so that's why i have apples now going vegetarian so yeah guys i think i want to save the bosses for a little bit later in the video so what are we gonna do now <laughs> oh i'm scared all right turn it into easy mode let's see what happens i'm gonna give them a minute to spawn in and then we're just gonna see how bad this is gonna get I already see something going on. What the flip is that thing? It's called a glistening Pixon. Now, I don't know a lot about this mod. Uh, I played a mod pack with it before. Like, can I attack this thing? What do I even want to do with it? Whoa. What? There's some crazy sound effects. What's up, little guy? How's it, how's it going? This thing is so cute. Wait. I see something over there. Oh, the sound effects are crazy. So I'm pretty sure, like 99% sure, that this is an RPG Minecraft mod. What is... Oh, what the heck was that? Did you just try and shoot me, bro? All right, let's try to use the Emberstone Sword. Now, this thing just does a lot of attack damage. Oh, it's already starting. Look at that. Even after like two seconds, everything's just going down. It's a good thing I have my doggies with me. Now, I believe, yeah, there's actually coins that you get with this so you can upgrade yourself. You can literally, like, pick your specializations. So I definitely want to check out this mod a little bit more after this video. All right, so, oh, gosh, there's literally a tree spirit over there. All right, so the Emberstone Sword does uh, 14 attack damage, has a decent amount of uses. Let's see, this is a troll basher, slows enemies down. What the flip back the heck up? Okay, uh, yeah, I think that slowed him down. Yeah, yeah, gave him a slowness and also does a lot of attack damage. Now, I am going to be a noob right now. I don't know what the coins 
coins do. I'm pretty sure you can upgrade yourself like you have a whole entire skill set if you can see in the top right hand, but I don't really know a ton about this mod. I just wanted to check out the swords for the first video. All right, so let's try out the next one. This is a rock pick sword, 27 damage. Should be a one hit KO. Bam, that is crazy. Oh, literally stuff is just spawning in. Like this is literally just an open world RPG. Okay, what's up goblins? Oh, what the flip is that? All right, calm the heck down. Doggies, kill me. All right, grab him, grab him. All right, we should be able to take down this. Yep, Lucy, you grab that guy. <laughs> I let my doggies do the work here. Now I actually got some wind ruins. Not entirely sure what to do with that. Might be able to upgrade myself. Third, oh my gosh, my dog is going to work. Now, let's see. He dropped uh, some more coins, so we have some more copper coins. Let's see. Is anything else spawning in? We might be able to work on a boss in a little bit. Oh, I remember these things. Okay, let's try and use the Fireborn Sword. This thing, what is this? Uh, d d sets enemies on fire. 1,600 uses remaining. All right. This is only in the overall, by the way. There's a ton of different dimensions that crazy mobs spawn in. Oh, oh, back to flip up. All right, yeah, these chargers are the most annoying things in the flipping world. All right, there we go. Where is it? Oh, we got this guy over here. Let's try the Explocron sword. Oh, that is amazing. Look, it automatically... Oh, no, my doggies. Crap, okay, I don't want to blow up my doggies. Yeah, oh, this thing just blows everything up. That is definitely crazy. It looks like... We're doing good on dog. I think we may have lost Lucy. R.I.P. Lucy. But yeah, it looks like we're getting the same mob spawning in. So I might want to check out a boss after this. So we have the Explocron Sword. Definitely did a lot of damage. Now we have the Rosadian Sword, which has a chance of spawning in a Rosid. Supposedly that's going to help me out. So let's eat some apples here. My armor's doing okay. It's holding up kind of well. Now nothing is attacking me right now. These things are definitely scary. I think that's a Cyclops over there. All right, so let's try and use the Rosadian Sword. And let's see if maybe I can get some Rosadians to spawn in with me. Whatever the heck they're called. Oh, we have a Cyclops. Okay, bam. This only has a 10% chance though. It's the only bad thing. Well, I'm taking some good damage. What the flip back up, Mr. Tree? All right, good job, doggies. Good takedown. Now, it looks like we have some mercenary things down there. Maybe some wizards. I don't really know. Now, what's this thing? Okay, this is a Sasquatch. So, we have a whole entire pack of Sasquatches. I want to see if I can get the rows of things to spawn in. Let's see. Nope, didn't get one. We actually got tea seeds from the Sasquatch. I guess that's what Sasquatches carry around. Yeah, I really want to see what happens in when I get uh, a friendly Rosen on my side. So I'm going to have to just keep killing stuff. What, oh, what the flip, dude? Calm the heck down. These things just go absolutely crazy. Get the heck. Yeah, back the heck up. There we go. Oh, whoa. Okay, I didn't even see that guy. All right, yeah, they go. Go ahead, doggies. Go ahead. There you go. Nice kill. Yeah, yeah, I see you, you stinking goblin shooting crap at me. My doggies are going to just... Flip the heck you up. All right, there we go. Come on. Bring it in. Oh, is that a rosin? Nope, not a rosin. Rosin? Nope, not a rosin. Oh, there's one. It looks like we had a little rosin with us. Now it's slowly dying. I don't really know what it does. Is it healing me? What the heck do you do? Oh, poor rosin. But for right now, let's check out another entire wave of swords. Like, look at them. They all have their own unique designs. I think this might be the best sword mod I've ever reviewed. All right, now these definitely aren't the strongest swords. I mean, we've seen swords with infinity attack damage, but they're definitely decent. So next up, we have a Shroomish sword. Half a heart per... Okay, so I need to be below half a heart or half hearts, and then it will heal me half heart per hit. So let's let's let them hit me. Bam, go ahead, go ahead, guys. Hit me. Come on, there you go. I'm almost down. Come on, do... These literally don't do anything. Come on. There we go. We're almost below half. Just gotta wait a little bit. There we go. All right, go ahead. Yep, my dog. My dogs are actually gonna kill him. Yep, good job, Wolfpack. I need something that's actually gonna do a little bit of damage on me. So let's go up here. What's up? Oh, we got some goblins. Oh no, never mind. We got we have a grunt. So I have less than half. So I should get a heart back when I hit this guy. Yeah, I got half a heart back. Let's see about another guy. What's up, bros? What's up, dude? Assassins, 250. Okay, okay. What's up, guys? How's it going? Oh, they don't they don't seem to want to fight. Uh, sorry about that, fellas. My uh my dog really is gonna go crazy on you. Oh, so these guys actually want to trade copper coins for stuff. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, I am going to accidentally kill you. All right, well, I mean, they're probably going to die anyway, so we might as well test this thing out. Bam, bam. All right, so this thing heals you when you're below half. Not below half right now. So this thing weakens enemies. Okay, okay, so it gives them weakness. Looks like maybe a little bit of mining fatigue. Now, I'm kind of confused why they're not fighting back. They seem like they would fight back. But this has a 20% chance to do extra damage. Ooh, that did a lot. Holy crap. And also, I think they were bleeding out, too, from this thing. Okay, let's see. Oh, one AKO. Let's see about this guy. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is actually good. And it kills chickens. That's even better. Now, I'm not sure about this guy. Ancient Golems. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? All right. Uh, Yeah, the Ancient Golems. Definitely not a one-hit KO. They dropped some, like, cool ruby things. All right, yeah, go ahead, doggies. Kill them nice and easy. Another Ancient Golem. Not bad. Let's actually try out the next one. Heals half a heart on a hit. So, I actually have full hearts, so this isn't going to work. Anything want to fight? It looks like, yeah. Oh, what's up, bro? We have a horn drawn. What's up? Hi, how, how are you? Oh, okay. 
You just, I just want to run into your horns, and that's, okay. And he should heal me half a heart. Let's see. Oh, he actually did get half a heart. This thing actually might be a little bit overpowered. Because if you just kind of spam hit it, you can just never actually die. Let's see. Bam, bam. There we go. All right, yeah. So far, these swords are pretty dang overpowered. Let's try out the next one. This one, it heals depending on numbers of nearby enemies. Okay. Well, let's try it. Yep. I'm not going to die. I don't think I can ever die. Especially with the armor on. I mean, it's regular diamond vanilla armor, but still definitely doing some work. All right, so my favorite one out of all these probably is the Baron Sword and the Holy Sword. I think those ones are like the most overpowered ones, especially the Holy Sword, because you really can't die when you think about it unless it runs out. So this thing's like almost a one-hit KO, especially because it has a chance of doing like extra damage. So this could probably do up to like 30 or 40 damage, which definitely is going to be helpful against some bosses. So I'm going to save these two bad boys. We're going to keep them, and then we're going to go check out the last of the swords and then move on to the boss battles. What's up, Bessie? How's it going? All right, let's go back in here. We don't need these swords anymore. Not my favorite out of all of them, but I definitely want to keep holding on to my favorites. Now, this one has a chance to deal quadruple damage to flaming enemies. I don't think we're going to see that, so it's just going to do seven attack damage. But this one definitely looks super flipping cool. Let's grab out the rest of these, and then we can also dip into the great swords uh, when we actually check out the bosses. All right, so we have the first one here. This one, flaming enemies. So this isn't a flaming enemy, so we're going to have issues here. I probably, maybe, am going to want to grab a blaze. All right, so let's just test this out. We have a blaze right here. Let's see if it does quadruple damage. Uh, it didn't really do quadruple damage. It did like 12, which was a little bit more, but technically it should do like 28 damage if my math is right. So this definitely, nah, not my favorite sword at all. Get that thing out of here. We don't even need it. All right, let's start taking on the other stuff. Next up, uh, slow increased based on number. Okay, so we can actually slow down enemies of everybody nearby. So based on the nearby enemies, if there's like a whole pack of people, it will slow down the entire pack. I'm pretty sure that's what this does. We have an entire pack. I don't think those are assassins. They kind of look like green people. What the heck? All right, so we have the Caramel Carver. Let's see, this one should just slow them down. Yep, nice and easy, super overpowered. Now we have the Nathangiac Sword, which sets enemies on fire. We have a Naturalist over here. So I think, yeah, these guys also are traitors. I don't want to really fight these guys because, yeah, look, they seem cool. They actually look like Beast Boy from Teen Titans. So I'm going to leave them there. I'm going to leave them, babe. We're going to fight the stupid tree spirit. Oh, yeah, you're dead. Actually, wait, hold on. I might be able to combine this sword because if this is... Okay, okay, hold on. Hold on. Might have an idea here. So we don't need the cadaver one anymore. I'm going to set an enemy on fire and then use the candle fire sword to kind of just ignite them. All right, so let's head down here. And I think I just trapped myself. What's that? Dude? What's... Oh, no. Please, please don't do this. I am vulnerable. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let me get out. Just, oh, no, no, no. Let me get out. Let me get out. All right. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. And bam. All right. Let's go. Let's, let's test out this theory. Okay. So we have the thing. This should be a one hit KO though. Yeah. There we go. So we have Sasquatch. Nah. One hit KO. I need something that's not going to be one hit KO. Uh, I could try it on this guy. Let's see. Let's set him on fire and then let's do this. Oh, 29. Okay. See, so yeah, that's probably where you're going to want to use it for. There's definitely better swords that automatically do like 30 attack damage on average. So you might want to grab them. But yeah, these, this thing is definitely good just to set enemies on fire. What the flip? Okay. Okay. I need something for the group. I need creepified sword. I think this will blow them up on a hit. Yep. Oh no, it's supposed to creeper. What the flip was that? Okay, don't want to do that. Oh, gosh, we're getting surrounded. Okay, want to set them on fire. There we go. Die, die. Oh, oh, my goodness. That was close. All right, so the Creepified Sword, pretty much this has a chance of spawning in a Creeper, and I got it actually the first try. That one could be bad for you, so I wouldn't do that all the time. Now, this one has a large chance to knock back enemies. Let's see. Oh, uh, what the? He just fell into the floor. I sent him to the sunken place. Uh, what's, what's going on, buddy? You all right down there? I got you. Don't. All right. Actually, I'm just going to let him fall down there. There we go. All right. Let's test out the last two. This one's called Ultra Flame. Now, apparently, wait, what the heck? It sets me on fire, too. So you're probably going to want to get some armor that makes it so that you cannot take any hits or carry around a bunch of golden apples. So that is not my favorite out of all of them. And then this last one is called the Harvester Sword. So it does around 40 damage, but pretty much it takes half a heart from you. So uh, I'm losing half heart, but I have the golden apple effect, so I'm immediately getting it back. So yeah, this thing is definitely super overpowered. Uh, you really can't spam it or else you'll probably die. But yeah, as you can see, it does 38 attack damage, and I just burped. 
So yeah, guys, now let's head back. We got through all of the great swords. So now in here, we have like the crazy huge swords that are like upgraded versions. So I'm gonna grab my favorites out of all these. So let's get these out of here. Let's get, I like the harvester. Not, not too bad, not too bad. But let's actually get all of these back away. We don't need any of this. So let's grab our crazy, amazing great swords. So if we head in here, bam, we have all of our broadswords, which we already checked out. But now let's see how big these things are. Let me just show you in third person. Look, these are just crazy huge swords. So yeah, as you can imagine, these things have crazy range as well. So if I go over here, this first one, uh, it, it's a long range sword. So all of them are long range. And this one will actually heal me half heart per hit. So they kind of have the same attributes as the other ones, except basically these ones are just bigger. As you can see, I can hit them from farther away. So I can keep my enemies at like a farther distance. But yeah, all these are definitely cool. Let's grab some of my favorites out of here. So let's grab the one that heals me. I think definitely that one's going to be useful, the Holy Sword. Let's grab uh, the Baron Sword. That did a lot of damage. And then the Explosion Sword. I think those ones will be the best. And now what we can do is actually start spawning in the bosses. All right, Bessie. Wish me luck. You two also sheep with your Sasquatch friends over there. All right, let's head in here. So we have three of the bosses. Obviously, if you want me to fight some more bosses, pound that guy the like button. But for right now, I have three. Okay, so let's put all these in the inventory. Let's get out the troll idol. And bam, here we go, guys. So this first guy is some sort of like rock troll. Oh, oh, what the heck? I feel the wind beneath my feet. I honestly, I don't know what that meant. I don't even know what the heck just happened. But let's try out this sword. Bam, in the face. There we go. And we should be able to keep him at a distance. Nice. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to cap it up real quick, just in case, okay? I have never fought in any boss battle from this. So here we go. Three, two, one, bang. Oh, what the flip? There's music. Okay, what's up, Smash? Okay, let's, we should be able to take him out. Let's use the Haunted Blade. It takes a little bit from me, but it does a lot of damage. Oh, what's up, bro? What's up, bro? All right, he just absolutely destroyed my dog. Oh, my goodness. All right, let's use the Holy Sword to regen. Stop hitting me up. Stop it. Okay, I need to land. I need to land in that water. Oh, my goodness. All right, guys, so this might be a little bit harder than I expected. Let's get it. All right, so we have the crystal gray blade. What's up, bro? What's up, dude? Oh, my goodness. All right, I need to stay close to this water. What's up, dude? What's up? Oh, yeah. Plus, I have... Um, oh, no, no. Chillax. Chillax. No, no, no. Don't hit me up. Don't hit me up. Okay, I need to regen. Regen a little bit. Back tack up. Yeah, there we go. This is what this sword is used for. Get a quick regen. Okay, hopefully nothing else sneaks up on me. Bang, bang, bang. Okay, Baron Sword for some crits. Oh, yeah, we got him. We got him. Nice and easy. Yeah, he's bleeding too. And bam, he is dead. And look, the music stopped. So it looks like he actually dropped the Troll Basher Axe. So that's how you get most of the stuff from this. That's how you get most of the swords. That's how you get most of the items. It's actually like an RPG game, just going around and killing the boss battles. Most of the bosses are in different dimensions. I think some are in the overworld, but yeah, a lot of them you have to travel to different dimensions. So that was the first boss. I did die one time. His crazy hit where he just kept hitting me up in the air, that definitely destroyed me. But yeah, I also just realized I ate all my golden apples, so uh, I might not be able to defeat the other bosses. But let's see, next up, we have Silverfoot and his altar. So I think I need to put something now. We, we'll do Rock Rider first. So we'll put on the Rock Rider Shrine, and then we'll put a heavy boulder on top, and we should be able to take him down. All right, three, two, one, bam. Oh, oh, what's up? All right, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Hot Whoa, holy crap. Okay, wasn't expecting that. That was quick. Okay, everything just hits out everything up in the air. Okay, we don't want anything else coming at us. Whoa. Chillax. Okay, we need to use this. 1,500 health. We definitely need uh, a different strategy for this guy. Oh, he's going after other mobs too. Yes, okay. Might be able to... Oh, oh, why can't I hit him? Oh, no, no. Chill, dude. Chill, chill, chill. Oh, no, 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 no. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay, okay. Bessie, help me. All right, I might be able to actually farm these other guys to get some health back. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that might be actually my strategy here. Oh, oh, we just teleported. Okay, crystal, crystal great blade. I don't know what this is doing. No, 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 no. Don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Yeah, yeah. Take the holy sword. The holy sword is definitely my favorite so far. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Oh, that's... We're dead. Yeah, oh, okay. Not bad, not bad. Okay. Which one do I actually want to use? Okay, don't have time to think about it. What's up, dude? I need some of your health. Thank you very much. Just gonna take some of that. Thank you. Okay, come here, buddy. All right, we got him down a little bit. Now, these things have a lot of durability, too. So, I should just be able to kind of... Oh, he just tagged my hit. What the heck is this thing? Okay, do I do I want to go near this? Do, oh, bloodlust? Do, do I even want it? Okay, uh, I guess I want it. Yeah, it's kind of helping me. Okay, back tag up. No, don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, it looks like I'm not taking any knockback. Wait, I can't hit him, though. I can't flip and hit him. Okay, no, 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 no. What the heck? All right, I'm going to try the title Great Blade. I think this thing heals me when I'm actually below a half heart. So let's go try and take him out again. All right, what's the crystal one do? 5% uh, chance to heal. I might want to use this one, actually. Okay, we use the haunted one. Come on, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me, heal me. Please heal me. No, it's not working. It's actually not. What the? Oh, I'm on a tree. 
Okay, come here. Come here, bro. Come here. Okay, I'm, I'm healing. I'm healing when I'm below half. Okay. Yep. Oh, I got him trapped. No, I can't actually hit him. What's up? Oh, what? He actually, I was below the tree. He didn't even care. He just broke everything around the tree. All right, I'm going in. I'm going in with the tide. Alrighty, you flipping beast. All right, there we go. There we go. What's going on? Stop hitting me. Stop it. What the heck? Flipping nerd, dude. That's right. Get the heck out of here. I, like, actually, he just kind of doesn't get hit sometimes. Look, look, look at this. I'm hitting him in the face. There we go. Right there. Right there. Don't touch me. Come on. Come on. I know it's kind of cheap, but I, I, I kind of have to do this. Oh, no, no. No. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I see you, bro. I see you. I see you. I need the holy sword. Holy sword. Come on. Charge him. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. We're putting up a good fight. Putting in a good fight. There we go. Regen a little bit. No, stop it. Stop taking the hits. No, 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 no. Crap. They're getting on my nerves, bro. Stop doing that. It's okay. Come on. Come on. Stop doing it. Okay, I'm just going to run at you. I'm just going to keep running at him until I kill him. Bear, get the flip away. Stop it. No. no. Stop killing me. Stop killing me. No. Stop. Okay, two hits. Two hits. You're dead now. You're, you're actually dead. Get the flip back. Yeah, that's right. Take that to the face. He killed me at least 8,000 times. All right, so it looks like... From that battle, I got a statue. I also got statues from the other ones, so you can actually see what bosses that you've killed. We also have the Rock Pick Sword right here, which he drops. But yeah, guys, I think I'm going to save the other bosses possibly for a future video. If you just want me to do a marathon of boss fighting with some of the crazy stuff from this Minecraft mod, definitely pound that guy that like button and also leave a comment saying which bosses you want me to fight. But uh, yeah, guys, anyway, thank you so much for watching this video. My name is Beck Bro Jack. These are giant crazy Minecraft swords, and I will see you all back here again tomorrow for a brand spanking new video. Peace out.